So the question today is, are you going to go and see The Flash in cinemas? Because from us, it's a no, unless, and it's a big unless, a big asterisk caveat, there is confirmation that by hook or by crook, one way or another, Ezra Miller is replaced as The Flash by the end of the movie. If not, we're watching it at home. But, fact of the day, page number, 109, fact number three. Number three! In 2011, only nine of the 62 owners of apartments in One Hyde Park, London, the world's most expensive block of flats, paid any council tax. You know, I think we've done this one before. I don't think so. I think it's because we know a situation <laughs> where someone owns there. Uh, and that's why you're thinking uh, maybe we know that fact because we know perhaps, that building. Perhaps. Yeah. It's possible. It's weird. That's a weird one. I mean, you should be paying your council tax. I did read something, though, that you don't necessarily have to pay council tax. There are loopholes around it. And a lot of people, especially now, are saying, I'm not paying it. I don't have the money. This is one I'm not being forced to pay. And they can't do anything about it because it's just about sending back the letters to the council being like, Hey, you have to send another one in 30 days time, 90 days time, <laughs> and that way you can just consistently not pay it. It's probably becoming more common. That's wild. Yeah. So maybe they were just onto something earlier. Maybe. Hey, the rich do the rich things, and then eventually other people find out. Hey, no range on the comic end! No, yes, and right now we're going to be reacting to this Japanese trailer for The Flash. No, Sensei bring in the Japanese side of things, the studying, the learning, the effort, the time, the practice, so she might be able to explain what they're saying to me as it goes on. Maybe. We'll have to find out because I don't know how much Japanese is going to be in this. Right. Is it going to be dubbed? Is it going to be subbed? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be narrated? That's a good point. We'll have to find out and I may or may not be able to provide translation. Something she will be able to provide clarity on and so will I is our opinions on this movie as a whole after the reaction because it got a little spicy in the comments yesterday. People saying, hey, you shouldn't be reacting to it if you're not going to go see it. Well, we'll address that after we watch this because I do feel like yesterday's trailer was actually good. By this point, we're still not giving it our money at the box office. But let's get to this trailer anyway. Let's go. This film is going to change the world. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, my God! Flash! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Hi. I love you! Thank you. You seem very nice. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. So we're like in the future. No, wait, we're not in the future. I was supposed to be back in the present, but I'm still in the past. And there's not supposed to be two of me. Hey, do the thing again. Fine. <laughs> oh, does he not have his powers in this other universe? I guess. No. I went right. back in time to save my mom, but I completely destroyed history. Oh! And you changed the past. You changed the future. I created a world with no metahumans. Want some help? I'm Batman. That's cool. That's cool. This world must die. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Oh. They just brought out the oh, tank. That shot again. Yeah, not very good, that shot. That is cool. What did you do? No, nobody dies. That Batman. Flash. <laughs> hey, I got the anime vibe off of it. They really yeah. sold it with the voice. This is seeming like an anime trailer. There was that line that they put out when Zod's face came up. Yomi gai no shimatta no wa saikyo no teki, which is the strongest foe has been resurrected. Okay. And it was a really impactful line in Japanese because it's like, bam, you're done. He's here. I did see the two flash suits look significantly different. Yeah. One of them looks really good. The other one almost looks botched together. Yeah. But then if the other flash doesn't have his powers yet, then it would make sense why he wouldn't have a very good suit. You say that, but they have access to the Batman. 
You know, I have to be honest, it kind of looks like a really bad Batman suit. That's what I was thinking. Not a Flash suit. So a bit of a hodgepodge. Maybe the be... Batman's altered a bat suit to create that Flash suit. That would be believable, but then would the Batman's fabrics be able to withstand such speeds? Maybe. It is fireproof, it is bulletproof. You'd think it Maybe. has some thermodynamic usefulness to it. Maybe. I don't know enough about this sort of fabric science. No, nah, I'm just chatting absolute <laughs> shit. I have no clue about the realistic scientific manifestation of the super suits. I have no clue. But I think it looks good again. More comedic in tone. I think it was the introduction, which I think does say something about the way they're marketing this in Japan. They're trying to be like, look, it's not as dark as you think it's going right. to be. It's going to be epic. Look at all these shots. Epic. Look at all these Batman shots. Supergirl, epic. Batman, The Flash, Zod, yeah. the other characters as well popping in, in and out here and there. But now we'll get on to the situation of yesterday's video. We don't like Ezra Miller. We understand that some people do like him. Yeah. We understand that many people put work and time and effort into this movie. Not just him, the rest of the cast, the crew, the producers. But that doesn't mean that we need to see it just because people worked on it. Movies flop all the time. 80% of all movies in cinemas fail. Why are you not seeing those movies? They're saying to us, oh, you need to support it because all these people's jobs. I understand that. I appreciate that sentiment. But why do all these other movies fail then? You don't say that about that, do you? That's a good point. That is a good point. I think for us, it's we're taking a stand against Ezra Miller. Mm -hmm. I prefer him to be removed from the role. If he gets removed, we'll go see it. I've watched a lot of people saying this is the best DCU movie ever. ever. People have come out over the last few days from press screening saying it might be the best comic book movie of all time. Ooh. So... It's definitely getting the good press from the critics. I don't necessarily believe the critics, but this movie looks like it might be good. So, you know what? If they just give me the confirmation as a result, I'll give you the money. Because this is the thing. I have this viewpoint in life, which is if you tolerate everything, you stand for nothing, which means you'll be fooled by anything. And if you let those three things happen in conjunction, one after the other after the other, your life is going to fall apart. You have to have some moral standing. If this is something I'm going to stick with, it's something I'm going to stick with. If they change it and they remove him, fine. Also, people comparing it to the Jonathan Major situation. One, the Jonathan Major situation just happened. The Ezra Miller situation has been going on for three or four years now. Yes. Okay, and he's had not one offence, which has been confirmed, yes. like 79. He's had a lot. Okay, and they have been varying and they have been levelling up almost every single time in the seriousness of of accusations and also proved restraining orders, abuse, assault, grooming. It is endless. This list is mad. So the Jonathan Majors thing, I don't think he should be fired off the bat. You are innocent until proven guilty. And especially in the case of the public making a quick decision. In the instance of Jonathan Majors, that should not be the case because of the relative newness of this case. Yeah, it's gossip at this point. Right. There's no confirmation. He's not been proven guilty of anything. So we have to give him the benefit of the doubt. And we don't gossip on this channel, okay? We talk about movies. We talk about reviews. We talk about reactions. If Jonathan Majors was in a movie that we were reacting to, we would say, this has just happened in the news. But we don't make videos specifically about that. Yeah. Because this is about Ezra Miller and The Flash, we have to talk about it. I'm not going to encourage anyone else to not see it. If you don't want to see it, don't see it. If you want to see it, see it. I will only encourage people to see a movie or do something. I will not discourage people from doing something. Yeah. That's your own choice. You can make that decision on your own. If you're a kid, you know, your parents should make that decision for you. But Ezra Miller, stop doing stupid shit. He seems to have calmed down a little bit, which seems to be good, but... It just takes one second and it's bang, he's back at it. So hopefully he won't be doing that. Hopefully he gets replaced. Grant Gustin, Dylan O'Brien, one ear, get the job done. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Batfleck gonna come after you. You don't want that. No, do they want that? No, no so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been the original comic. I've been nonsense. She's been the doctor of Factonomics. Nonsense, more apt with the video in question, Japanese trailer reaction. You've been great, and we'll see you next time. That's tomorrow if you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,500 days now, and we're stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe, pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content, so hashtag never not here. Just that goes, also bring the Pukwas. Pukwas means nonsense, simp and jumpy. We also bring that, bring a lot, bring a little, do a lot, do a little, but we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow, more of the same. Slightly different, but essentially, essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh. <laughs>